you guys, what's up? How many of you- Nothing, what's up with you? <laughs> Nothing. How many of you guys are sick of taking your Keurig to the job site? Yep, I know. There's Keurigs all over the job site. They're always falling over. They're always breaking. Actually, Keurigs do break a lot. I've heard a lot of them. I've never had mine break, but I've mine's heard a lot broken. of people complain about yeah, that they're broken. broken. They're pretty good on the warranty. I think the newer ones are better. Right. You go into your foreman's office, what's the first thing you always grab? Is the cup of coffee. The cup of, cup of coffee is always sitting there. It's always in the trailer. You can't it's usually be, cold, yeah. and if it's warm, it's kind of crap coffee. Yeah, you can't be out, and, it, and then the, the container is always dirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gross. So basically, uh, you know, you have to go get that coffee. So if you're, a, you know, a worker, you're out working, you need on-the-job hot water and coffee. So K-cups with your Keurig, yep. really good idea. We'll show them a K-cup. These are K-cups, you guys. Basically, you just put them in, hit a button, and it's water. And what's nice about them is they come in so many varieties of coffee, plus you can get hot chocolate, you can get tea. I mean, But they're not cheap. They're not, well, no, they're a lot cheaper than they used to be. Right. But they're still, you know, they're still pretty expensive, but they're coming down in price. Yeah. So we're going to show you how this unit works. Basically, what this unit does, you guys, it's showing a water tank. It's, it's, well, it's portable, first it's, of all. Yeah, it's a portable job site coffee maker that's tough. Yeah, it has uh, like four, six, I think, tie-down points. So if you do need to strap yeah. it to your truck, you know how those guys strap it on the back of their truck? Yeah, well, yeah. Or on your hood when you're driving to work and making coffee, right? Oh, of course. So this got, is the this coolest is cool. thing right here, a retractable plug. Yeah, so, so how it's long retractable. Is that? Uh, about that long. That's it? Yep. That's still pretty cool. Yeah, so you got that. Um, very easy to operate. You have the water compartment in the back, which has a filter. So what it does, you fill it up to a certain line, and it actually sucks the water out, up through a hose. On the front, um, that's where your actual K-cup goes. A button's very easy to use. You have your power, and it'll tell you when it's heating, filter, you know, small, medium, and large coffee. Your front right here, pop-down tray. So that's where you're going to put your coffee cup. This will remove, so you can either clean it, or if you want a little bit size, a little bit uh, bigger size, bigger size cup, you can put a little bit bigger cup in there. So it's kind of like almost your K cup, but or your Keurig at home. Weighs 12 pounds, empty, you guys. Water and dust resistant. I don't know. Did you mention the replaceable water filter? Yeah, it does have a replacement water filter. Three cup sizes: eight ounce, ten ounce, and twelve ounce. You guys has a one year warranty, um, and it's impact resistant. Yeah, and one thing obviously you have to remember: obviously in cold, you can't leave it out in the cold. You know. Why? Water freezes usually at 32 and your, your water's going to be frozen. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, up to 1,500-pound uh, crush-proof chassis. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna show you guys how we make some coffee yep. here. So let's get it plugged so in. Eric's going to plug it in. We're going to use this old green tea right here. I'm just going to show up with this cup. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to open it up on the top. Well, let's turn the power on first. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're going to put your K-cup in. Curry, you have to turn the power on first. I don't know if you do on this, though. Well, this isn't a curry. You're going to close it and lock it. Eric's going to push the power button. So I just turned it on right now. And then you're going to hit what? Oh, do the let's large just do a brew. medium. Large? No, large. OK, so I can hear it. Wow, it's already coming out. That's cool. Yeah, it, it did take a little while to preheat, though. Yeah, it did. We actually ran a cup before we actually did this, so I don't know if it's still the, it's still a little bit warm. But I mean, man, it's really that easy. And this is green tea, you guys, so that's why it looks kind of like urine. Actually, it's just Chicago water is all it is. Yeah. But no, you can use Chicago water because it has a filter. Yeah. But oh. and those filters you can get. I used to have those on my coffee pot. Those filters you can get at like Wally World or Target or Honestly, something like that. Honestly, if you're working out, dude, and you're cold, and you're going to get this instant hot water. Well, yeah, it's, it's awesome. nice. And you could do just hot water. So if you yeah. want to mix your own cocoa, you don't have to use the K-Cups. If you want to mix, you know, I, when I worked at the airport, they had a machine, and you push it, and it would have chicken soup come out. But it was just powdered with hot water. It was so good. Mm, yummy. Dude, it was really good. I don't know, I think it's kind of a cool little thing. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people drink coffee, and it's just nice to have a portable coffee, and you can actually have a good cup of coffee now. Yeah. We'll all stand around watch it, wait for this cup of coffee. Yeah. What do you think, Eric? I think it's a pretty cool, it's a cool idea. Yeah, I think for the job site, what's the price point on I was going to say, I think it might be around 200 bucks. Okay, see, there we go, you guys. We got some hot coffee. We're all ready to go. What would you guys like? I'd like some cocoa. 
Just give me cocos in my crayons and I'll be happy. Yeah, it's on Amazon. It's about two hundred. It's one hundred ninety-six bucks. Yeah, it does get hot. But look at that steaming hot. Wow, green tea. Look at that. I'm not gonna drink the green tea. Are you? No, I'll drink it. Save it. Are you serious? Yeah, I love to. Okay, there you go. It's like a urine sample. Is it tea? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is it tea? Uh, good stuff, you guys. Um, I would definitely go check it out. I don't know what their website is. I'm looking on the box uh, here. The website is... It weighs 12 pounds, empty. OXX.com. Wow. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good domain. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, especially to get, you know, this late in the market, you know? Mm-hmm. So, all right, you guys, cool stuff. Let us know what you guys think. Would you, what did we find out a price? 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Yeah. Would you use it on a job site? What do you think? Um, personally, if you're working out in the winter, you know, the guys in Alaska, the, who are those guys? The, the gold digger guys. Gold diggers? No, the gold digger guys. I don't With know. With the old man. You guys know who I'm talking about. I've seen it on the like, history you're channel. All millionaires, you just don't know it yet. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know well, that's that a good guy. voice. I like that, man. <laughs> You guys know what yeah. I'm talking about. What's that thing? Go Rush Alaska. Oh, yeah. Okay, Parker. Okay, yeah. Is that his name, Parker? I don't know. I've only seen like a couple I don't know. episodes. Those guys would use something like this. It's just cool to have in your truck. You know, it's really cool. Um, if you're working, you know, Keurigs are about 200 bucks. Yeah. So I think this is a lot better than a Keurig. Plus, the thing about a Keurig is, the new Keurigs, you have to use their K-Cups, which are more expensive. Oh, you can't use just any of the No, because they have like a little uh, thing in them now. There's work on YouTube and work it out, but this one will take any K cup. So very cool, good stuff. The ox. What do you guys think? Comment below. Wherever you go, hashtag <laughs> TIAcrew.com or not? No. I'm sorry, TIA Crew. We're gonna be looking around, and eventually we're gonna start giving away some stuff when we see people doing that. Yeah, um, but right now, as you're watching this video, we're probably in China. So, but we will be back. So if you see like. No, if we don't answer your questions or whatever. Yes, exactly. Are you putting this up while we're in China? Yeah. All right, so then we're not probably in China. We are in China right now. So go ahead and leave your well, comments when we get back. Now. Well, when they're watching this, we're technically yeah. in China. Not yeah, when right you guys this watch this, we're in China. So guys, Shanghai. we'll answer by and get by and that's stuff gonna like that. That's going to be an interesting tool talk. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good tool Very talk. Very cool. All right, you guys, Tools in Action. Check it out. Toolsinaction.com. Check it out. For more exciting tool action, go to Tools in Action. Dot com.